All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, let's give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Sincere Shalom to all you men preaching this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to you, striving and sincere believers. It's your brother Shemagara coming to you with another lesson. The Lord willing this lesson to be edifying. And we're going to talk about the slander of Esau Edom towards the Israelites. Okay? Esau slander towards you Israelites, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans um, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right? You make up the chosen people of God. And these uh, so-called Caucasians are will be your biblical Edomites, man. And there's a concerted effort to hide identity. You know, and there's many of scriptures that back it up. There's a concerted effort to destroy the Israelites by these heathens. And heathens are nations or peoples outside of the Israelites. Um, but we have a strong and mighty God and a Savior who is with the elect. All right, the, the, the men, women, and children. That are predestined to make it out of this hell hole and receive salvation. All right. He he's for the elect, man. And ultimately he's for the Israelites in general. Okay. But um, you know, we're gonna start off with Romans. All right, and we're gonna go to eight verses thirty one. What shall we say then to these things? If Yahweh, and that's the Most High's actual real name, Yahweh meaning he is, he exists, he to be, all right? If Yahweh be for us, who is the us? It's the Israelites, okay? Mainly the elect. Who can be against us, okay? So, majority of this world is against the Israelites, man. Okay, but it's not stopping anything. They're just fulfilling prophecy. Okay, and um, the more they try to take things into their own hands and um, upset prophecy, the more they run straight um, face first into it. All right, so the Israelites are going to be on top whether they like it or not, man. And it's happening sooner than later. Um I think it's the World Economic Forum. They just said they want to get rid of about 80% of the world's population. All right. And it tells you that Israel is the sand of the sea. So if you do that math, you know, what, if, if that was the case and if that was to happen, the Israelites would take a majority of the blow, man. Okay. We're, we're the most fruitful nation. So um, these are things that they're saying, man. They want to get the Israelites out of the way. They want to keep ruling forever. All right. And to do that, they figure, hey, take out the Israelites. OK. And it's not going to happen, man, because like I said, Yahweh is the God of the universe and his son. All right. Is, is right under him, man. OK. And the father put pretty much everything in the son's hand, man. While he rules from the heavens, man, Yahweh Shah is going to rule this planet Earth, man. Okay? As well as, as, well as, as, well as other planets. Alright? And these Edomites can't stand that. And they can't stand that the Israelites are waking up, man. Okay? You got people that's trying to stop the truth, and the truth, the truth cannot be stopped. And, and that's when you find out that these people... Are not the smartest man. They are spiritually discerned. They don't know. They think they know. But they don't know. Okay. Let's go to, to the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Chapter 30 verse 11. For I am with thee. Saith the Lord. To save thee. And that's what salvation is. You got a lot of Christians running around and saying. Hey. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Okay. How are you saved when 
there's a couple prophecy that, that that hasn't happened yet, like the destruction. Okay. Like the war Armageddon, like World War Three. You don't know if you're gonna make it out of that, man. All right. You know, and once once you proclaim to be saved, man, you get lazy. All right. But the Most High says, I am for thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee. So the Israelites are scattered throughout all nations. And a lot of our people in these nations appear to be heathens on the outside. But in the inside, their spirit all right, goes back to one of the 12 patriarchs okay, of the nation of Israel. And um, a lot of times it's obvious, sometimes it's not so obvious. But if they're of the elect man, the Most High is going to save them. Okay? Yet I will make a, f yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure. How does he correct this man? When we wake up, man, there's it, certain signs that you see. Uh, of the do's and don'ts, you got you got the teachers telling you. Um, that's how the Most High is correcting us, man. You know, you got teachers, you got prophets, you got elders, the apostles. Okay, and, and you grow in this thing. That's how you get corrected. It will not leave the altogether unpunished, and, and we we have suffered a, a massive judgment and a punishment. Okay. I'm going to name a few, uh, slavery, okay, being taken down by inferior nations such as Esau, all right, um, Jim Crow era, civil rights era, all right, um, even now, you know, police brutality, um, the, the northern kingdom and these ICE camps, detention camps, all right, being, um, taken advantage of, being lied to, being killed. So we weren't un altogether unpunished, man. We, we know punishment very well, all right, because Israel, we're, um, st we're stiff-necked people, okay? And we're hard-headed, and it takes us a while and a few times to correct our behavior, but two-thirds will never correct their behavior, but the elect, the one-third, the 144,000, though we fall and stumble, all right, we have the mindset, we have the spirit, Lord willing, I'm a part of that, to, to repent and feel sorry, man, because we're in these chains of darkness, so we sin every day, man, okay? Um, let me jump to Deuteronomy. Seven verses six. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. Holy means separate. The Israelites are, are the most high's possession. Okay, these other nations are our possession. Okay? For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. So we're elected to be special, you know, extraordinary, man, not normal unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's superiority right there, man. That's superiority. The Most High is telling you you're superior to the other nations above all people, not equal above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And it's clear to see if you got you got eyes, man, and you're not and you're not a liar. Okay. The Lord did not set his love upon you. And that love was the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. That's that's how he showed his love, man, as well as other things, but he gave us a standard. You know, in Mount Sinai, the children of Israel, not these heathens. That's how he set his love upon us, man. It was the do's and don'ts, man. Whereas he just gave these heathens, just let them do whatever, man. And basically be just uh, savages, man. 
Okay? The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor chose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the small for ye were the fewest of all people. Once upon a time, Jake was the fewest of all people, because we our nation was established as the last nation uh pretty much on the face of the earth, man. You know, you got you got other nations established like Elam generations before us, man. Okay. But the Most High, he he um he uh what's what's the word I'm looking for? It was a diligent process of Most High making our nation, man. All right, it was tedious. But because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeem you out of the house of bondmen that, that's the land of Egypt Mizraim um, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt okay so we were redeemed man we were brought back he saved us with a mighty hand did one is wondrous works for the Israelites, man, to get us out of that captivity and to go into our land, which is the land of Israel, man. Some call it Palestine. All right. Uh, let's jump to Romans 9. All right. 9 verses 13. So all that slander that Esau Edom is coming with, you know, sending his um, higher agents and people to try to debunk the Israelites as if we're not the people of God, uh, you know, spending countless uh, resources, money to debunk this truth, man. And the truth keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. And the most I calls Esau um, Satan, the devil. Uh, he's a slanderer, man. He's a liar. Okay? He knows full well that we're the Israelites, man. Romans 9, verses 3, 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So no matter how much shade, slander Esau is coming with, the Most High loves Jacob, which happens to be us. As it is written, Jacob have I loved... But Esau have I hated. So on the opposite end, the Most High hates these devils, man. Hates the uh, the, the Edomites, man. Salakia, the Edomites. <clears throat> he hates them, man. Um, yes, and, and that's something that they can't get over. That's something that they don't want to accept. But it's not for them to under, uh, accept because they're not a righteous people, man. They're... They're um, in self-denial, okay? So he's going to continue to slander the Israelites first and foremost. But then on, on a higher level, he's going to try to slander and will be successful to a certain extent. The, the believers, man, okay? And that's going to lead to his downfall. It's going to be speedily too. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, Shalom.